Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I was feeling a little ambitious and decided to go through each of the shades in my collection and just kind of set a usage goal for them for 2022. And there ended up being quite a few shadows that I had the goal of hitting pan on. So today I decided I would share those 50 plus shadows with you and just show you what I want to work on trying to hit pan on by the end of next year. So if that is something that interests you, then keep on watching. So I went through each of my palettes and I put together a list of the eyeshadows that I would like to hit pan on. So I'm just kind of going to go down that list and a lot of these are from older palettes in my collection. So some of these palettes have multiple shades that I would like to hit pan on. But we will just start with my Modern Renaissance palette. And here is what this one looks like on the inside. So I already do have four pans in this palette and by the end of 2022 I would like to add two more and that would be in the shade Golden Ochre and Cypress Umber over here. I think those are definitely both really doable goals. The next palette I want to talk about is my BH Cosmetics Nuevo Neutrals palette. And in this one, I already do have two pans, so I have a pan in this shade and this shade. And once again, I would like to add two more. So that would be in this first shade over here, and then in this light gold right here. This one has a pretty good dip in it already, so I think this one will definitely be the next one that I hit pan on. And then this one is one that I do tend to use quite a bit if I reach into this palette, so I just wanted to throw that in here. My next palette up is my Colourpop and Disney Princess. It's a princess thing palette and I do have one shade, one pan in this palette already and that is in Prince Charming. It's very tiny. Don't really know if you'll be able to see it but I did write down that I wanted to hit pan in three additional shades by the end of 2022 and those shades are Chip, Juju, and Ray. These ones will definitely be a little harder to hit pan on. Colourpop shadows are a little bit more difficult to hit pan on. But I did want to just set that goal for myself and see if I could reach it. Next up, another difficult one to hit pan on is my Tartlet Toasted. And I do not yet have any pans in this palette, but I really want to hit pan on the shade Cashmere. That is definitely the one that has the most use in this palette. So I wanted to try and set that goal for myself to hit pan on it by the end of next year. And next on to one of my most used palettes in my collection. This is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. And as you can see, this one already has six pans in it. And ideally, I would like to hit pan on all of these shades by the end of next year. But I did only focus, want to focus on three for this video. So that would be this shade up here, and then these two. And then I would save this one for probably 2023. But that would be my goal for this palette. This is definitely one that... If I was to choose a pan that palette, it would 100% be this one. I just love this palette and I get so much good use out of it. Alright, next we have another Wet n Wild 10 pan. This is the Not A Basic Peach and this one has zero pans in it. But I do have some pretty good dips going in some of these shadows. So I have quite a few shades in here that I would like to hit pan on. So those shades would be... This first shade, this one, this one, number five, and number nine. So I would ideally like to pan half of this palette by the end of next year. I think I could reasonably do this or at least hit a couple pans in this palette. I just need to focus on using this palette, which is not always something that I am great at. But I think setting this goal for myself with trying to hit five pans, I can at least hit a couple. 
So that's kind of where I'm at with this palette. Next palette up is my Profusion Mixed Metals Peach Palette. And this one already has one pan in it in the shade Crimson. And I would like to hit pan on both Polite and Special. I think I could do this one as well. These pans are pretty shallow, which is surprising with how thick the packaging is. But I do think I am relatively close to hitting pan on both of those shades, and I could do that by the end of next year. Alright, next up is my e.l.f. Black Beauty Book palette. So this one has a lot of shades in it. There are 48 shades total in this palette. And I would like to hit pan on quite a few of them. I do already have pan in this shade, this shade, and this shade. And the shades that I would like to hit pan on by the end of next year are number four. This one I'm very close to. I think, honestly, I think I could maybe get it by the end of the year even. This year, 2021. Um, next would be number 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, and 44. So that is my goal with this palette. I think it is really satisfying, especially in this palette since it has so many shades, to see these little pans. And they are fairly easy to pan on. They're very small and somewhat shallow, so I do anticipate I will be able to hit at least a couple of those pans. Maybe not all of them, but at least a few would be nice. Alright, next up, another little Wet n Wild palette. This is the Walking on Eggshells Quad. And I do already have pan, as you can see, in this shade right up here. And I would like to hit pan on the Brow Bone shade by the end of next year. I think I could easily do that. This is just a nice everyday palette. Super easy to reach for, so... It's definitely something I could see myself hitting pan on. Next up is my Glitter Realm A Whole New World palette. I love this packaging. And here are the shades in here. So no pans yet, but I do have the goal of hitting three by the end of 2022. And those would be Diamond in the Rough, Sultan, which has a really nice dip going in it, and Enchantment, which also has a pretty good dip in it already. Um, I don't know how deep these pans are. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I do think I could reasonably hit pan on at least one or two, hopefully all three. But that is my goal with this one. Next up, we have my Milani Soft and Sultry palette. And here is what this one looks like. So, from my experience with this palette, as you can see, there are no pans, but it is very hard to show good progress on these shades, especially the matte shades. So, the one shade from this palette that I have set myself the goal of is Diamonds and Pearls, which is this white shimmer up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it does have a dip in it starting to form, but... I feel like these pans are kind of deep, so I would like to hit pan, but even just showing a little bit more progress on this palette would be nice as well. Alright, next we have my Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. And I do already have one pan in this palette, and that is in the shade Berry Ice. And I would like to hit pan on three more shades by the end of next year. And those are Strawberry Lemonade, Lemonade Craze, and Main Squeeze. These shadows are very soft and relatively easy to show progress on, so I do anticipate I will be able to get at least a couple more pans out of this palette if I just focus on it, which shouldn't be too hard to do. I do really enjoy this palette. Alright, next up is my Revolution Reloaded Basic Mattes palette. And this one also has one pan in it already. don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's in the shade up here. I don't know. 
I think the light's catching it there, you can see. Um, the two shades I would like to hit pan on by the end of 2022 are number six over here and number eight. All right, my camera cut out, but I was saying that I do find these two shades pretty easy to use. They have the most use, use in, from this palette and I think I could do it pretty easily. So yeah, two shades from this palette. Next up we have my e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette and this palette is currently in my Pan That Eyeshadow project so I would like to hit pan on that shade which is canvas and in addition to that I would like to hit pan on Sea Salt which is the shimmery white in this palette. I think those are both very doable especially with this being in a project. So I'm not worried at all about hitting pan on this palette. Next we have my Ulta Beauty and Harry Potter Hufflepuff palette. And I would like to hit pan on two of the shades from here. And those are Sherbert and Lumos. These are two super easy shades for me to use. So I think I could get hopefully pan out of them, but at least some good progress out of them. And sticking with the Ulta Beauty Harry Potter collection, I have my Ravenclaw palette, and I would like to hit pan on the shade Bow Battens right up here. This is just a light shimmery blue, and it is one of the more colorful shades in my collection that I do like to wear on a daily basis, so I think I could easily get some good use out of this one. Alright, next up we have my Essence Salute Perry palette, and from this palette I would like to hit pan on this light pink shade over here. These shadows are pretty soft, and when I reach into this palette I do use this one pretty much every time, so I think it is doable, and I would just really love to see at least one pan in this palette by the end of next year. So that is my goal. So next up we have one of my storybook palettes from I Heart Revolution. This is Beauty and the Beast. And the two shades from here that I would like to hit pan on are Enchantress, this dark shimmery blue, and Magic Mirror, this nice white shimmery shade down here. Both are shades that I tend to reach for from this palette and I really do enjoy so I think I could reasonably do that. And then we have my I Heart Revolution Princess and the Frog palette and from here I would like to hit pan on the shade Bayou which is a dark shimmery green and also one of my favorite shades in this palette so I do like to reach for it quite a bit when I reach into this palette so I do think it is something once again, I could easily hit pan on if I focus on it. Alright, we are back with another Wet n Wild 10 pan, and this is the Stop Playing Safe palette. So this one does have one pan in it already, down in this little green shade. And the shade that I would like to focus on for next year would be this fourth shade right here. I find the mattes in these palettes pretty easy to hit pan on in about 20-25 uses, so I do think that this one is definitely doable. I've already reached for it quite a few times when working on this shade, so I think it is something that I will enjoy focusing on and can hopefully hit pan on. Alright, we are getting closer to the end, so next up is my ABH Soft Glam palette, and I do already have one pan in this palette in Dusty Rose. And I would like to hit pan on two shades from this palette. So Tempera up here, that one already does have a pretty nice dip going in it. And I do think that one I can 100% hit pan on. And then the other shade would be Rose Pink. This one doesn't have as much use on it. But it is a shade that I would really like to focus on because I think it's really pretty. So I wanted to just set that goal for myself as well. Next we have my ColourPop Garden Variety palette. And I do have one pan in here already in the shade Don't Leaf. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. You can hopefully see the nice dip I've got in there at least. 
Um, but the shade I would like to focus on is the one right above it in Wavelength. Um, it doesn't have too much use on it quite yet, but I do think I could get some good use out of it. It's a shade that I like to just pop in my inner corner whenever I reach for this palette. So I do think it is doable. Maybe not by the end of next year, but relatively soon after. I feel like I could definitely get pan on it. Next up is my Be Bella Daisy Days palette. And the shade that I would like to hit pan on from here is the shade Evergreen. That shade is showing the most use from this palette, so I think I could do it. I don't know how deep the pans in here are quite yet, since I have not yet hit pan on it. But I would like to set that goal for myself. And these last few palettes have been newer ones in my collection, so they don't have as much use. But I do still think I could get at least a couple pans from these newer palettes and hopefully just some good use out of them. Alright, we are down to my final three. So this is my Huda Beauty Nude Light palette. And the shade from here that I would like to hit pan on is number six over here. I have heard that these are relatively easy to hit pan on, so I definitely think I could do it. It does have a little dip starting to form in it. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but there is a little dip that I can see in person. So I think this is definitely doable. It's a shade I use every time I reach into this palette. So definitely one that I would like to focus on. And my other Huda Beauty palette, this is the Desert Dusk palette. And the shade I would like to hit pan on is Eden. I don't know how long this one will take me, but I did want to set the goal for myself anyway. Um, this is my most used matte in this palette at least, possibly my most used shade. Um, I do really enjoy it, so I did just want to set that goal for myself even though it doesn't have as much use as some of the other shades in my collection. I do think I could at least get a bigger dip on it by the end of next year and hopefully pan if I focus on it enough. And last but not least is from my NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. And this shade that I want to focus on would be number 9, this light shimmery green. This one has a really nice dip from when it was in my eyeshadow roulette project. And I just absolutely fell in love with this shade during that project. So it's one that I really do think I could hit pan on. By the end of next year, I really love it and I think I could definitely focus on it enough. Once again, I don't know how deep these pans are, but it does have a pretty nice dip starting to form and I do think reasonably I could get quite a bit more use out of it within the next year. So that is my goal for this palette. So that concludes the... 50 plus pans that I would like to hit in 2022, by the end of 2022. Um, like I said, a little ambitious. I have not yet hit anywhere close to 50 pans in a year. I think my most is around 20. So we'll see if I can actually do this. It would be really fun if I could hit at least close to 50 pans this next year. Um, and looking at each of the individual pans that I have selected to hit pan on, I think it is somewhat of a doable goal, actually. A lot of these shades already have quite a bit of progress on them, so I do think it is something that I could do hopefully close to 50, if not 50. Um, but I am excited about the possibilities of hitting that many pans. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this style video talking about my collection and a little bit of project panning and if you would like to see more from me and if you have any specific ideas on videos you would like me to do then please be sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!